Hey guys, hope you're all good today. Previously, we've seen three other examples of the session log uh, session properties, which you configure before running a workflow, which were fail if task fail buried if task fails, backward compatibility write log files, and the bulk load versus the normal load. Today, we'll be discussing another property, which is the safe session log for these runs property. This option can be found in the configuration config object tab of the session properties. You have the option to save the session log file by either session runs or timestamp. When you set the option as a session run, Informatica saves a specific number of session log files. You can set the number of log files to be saved in the se save session log for these runs option. This option allows you to define the number of session log files you wish to save in order to maintain the history of log files. By default, the session log files are overwritten. The maximum number of history you can maintain is 2147483647 files, but you shouldn't save them for many runs as the, they consume space. Let's have a look at a practical example of this set of this property so let's move over to the workflow manager click ok connect to the repository the info training using the username id uh, administrator and the password oracle <clears throat> open the training folder this session we use to transfer data from the hr database to the target database for the employee table let's open it and move over to the config object and go down okay save session log by session runs save session for these runs it's set to five which means that okay as we can see that we go to this folder to the session log server info shared says logs this folder is empty now if we run these run the session we should have exactly six session logs because it starts counting from zero and moves over to five. So once we run it, it's running and it succeeded. Now we should have one session log, one for binary and one text in the folder. Okay, perfect. We have one log with numbered zero. Now let's run it once more and see what happens. Okay, it succeeded. Now let's go to the folder. Yeah, we have two session logs now. Let's rerun the workflow. Perfect, we have three now. Okay. Now we can see that we have one, two, three, four, five, five session logs now. And now we should have one more log as we have to go up to five okay we have one two three four five six perfect we have six log files now counting from zero to five if you rerun it now we shouldn't have more files instead one of the log files should have been overwritten. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Perfect, we have six log files now. This means that no new log file was created. Instead, the create, new created file automatically overwrote the previous files. So, no matter how many runs we take now, we'll have six log files in total in the folder. So, in the coming video, we'll be discussing a few of a few more session properties so till then stay with us and thank you
Take care.